Welcome back to Army Zone. Russia, one of the world's military heavyweights, has been flexing its muscles with some seriously advanced weaponry. From helicopters that look like they came out of a sci-fi movie to stealth submarines that could sneak up on you without a whisper, Russia's arsenal is a force to be reckoned with. In this video, we'll explore how Russia advanced weapons aim to win the war against Ukraine. Let's get started. Number 10. Mi-28 Havoc Attack Helicopter the development of the Mi-28 Havoc attack helicopter has been a long process, starting with its first test flight in 1986. Initially, Soviet commanders preferred alternative designs, but by the early 2000s, they had reverted to the Mi-28 for its adaptability and power. It was chosen in 2003 as one of the Russian Air Force's next-generation assault helicopters, and 126 units have since been manufactured. The Mi-28, which is 55 feet long with a 16-foot wingspan, is armed with a 30mm gun and can carry anti-tank missiles and other armaments. Moreover, its night vision capability allows it to perform effectively in all weather conditions, making it a formidable battlefield asset. Number 9. Yasin-class Submarine The Yasin-class submarine, designed in the late 1980s and first built in 1993, are Russia's newest nuclear-powered cruise missile subs, intended to replace Soviet-era vessels. Each submarine costs around $800 million, with two in service and eight more expected. While much about the Yasin-class submarine remains unknown, they are equipped with land attack, anti-ship, and anti-submarine missiles that may be updated for future armaments. These submarines have eight vertical launchers and 10 533mm tubes, allowing them to discharge huge payloads swiftly. They are nuclear-powered, and their range is only limited by crew supplies. They can reach depths of 1,800 feet and speeds of 40 miles per hour underwater, while requiring 85 crew members to operate. Number 8. Krasuka Electronic Warfare System Modern battlefields heavily rely on technology, requiring militaries to have both offensive and defensive electronic warfare systems. The Russian armed forces deploy a system known as Krasuka, which was created by the Kret Corporation and entered service in 2014. This system focuses on airborne radio electronics and radar-guided devices, attempting to destroy drones and airplanes before they enter the guarded region. Krasuka may jam radar and electronics from up to 160 miles away, causing radar-guided missiles to detonate far from their intended targets. The most recent version is even powerful enough to jam low-Earth orbit satellites and permanently damage specific electrical technology, making it harder for enemies to rely on their technology. Number 7. Kirov-class battlecruiser. The Kirov-class battlecruisers, built in the 1970s and entering service in 1980, are the largest and heaviest surface warships in the world. Measuring 827 feet long and 94 feet wide, they are nuclear-powered guided missile cruisers and remain among the deadliest vessels at sea. Only four were ever built, and two are still operational, having been continuously upgraded with cutting-edge technology. These cruisers are strongly armed with 20 P-700 granite missiles, 12 S-300F launchers with 96 missiles, and anti-aircraft defenses, allowing them to defend against ballistic missiles. They also carry anti-submarine armaments, including an automatic 130mm AK-130 rifle and 10 torpedo tubes. Number 6. Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack The Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack designed by the Soviet Union in the 1970s, is one of the most powerful and expensive military aircraft ever built. It remains the world's biggest and heaviest combat aircraft, as well as the fastest bomber currently in service. The Tu-160, which entered service in 1987, is still active, with at least 16 in use following multiple modifications. The aircraft has four crew members, a pilot, a co-pilot, a bombardier, and a defense systems officer. It is 177 feet long with a wingspan of about 183 feet. Powered by four Samara NK321 afterburning turbofan engines, it can achieve speeds of up to 1,400 miles per hour and has a range of around 7,600 miles without in-air refueling. 
The 2160 has two huge armament bays that can hold up to 100,000 pounds of bombs and are outfitted with rotary launchers for crews and nuclear missiles. Number five, Buck M3 missile system. The original Buck missile system was designed by the Soviets in the 1970s. Instead of creating a new system, it was upgraded to the Buck M2, which entered service in 2008, and the Buck M3, first delivered in 2016. This self-propelled, medium-range surface-to-air missile launcher can defend against cruise missiles, smart bombs, airplanes, and drones. It has a 95% success rate and often requires only one missile per target. The Book M3 can monitor and intercept targets traveling at speeds up to 6,700 miles per hour across distances of up to 43 miles. Its missiles can travel at speeds of up to 3,500 miles per hour and can change course utilizing air and reactive rudders. The most recent Buck system targets ground and maritime threats with combined radio and infrared targeting. Number four, T-90 battle tank. The T-90 is the main battle tank of the Russian army, first introduced in 1993. Since then, hundreds have been manufactured with the newest iteration, the T-90MS, going into production in 2017. Each T-90MS costs around $4.5 million and is 31 feet long by 12 feet broad. It is operated by a three-person crew and carries a 125 mm smoothbore cannon with 43 rounds, as well as a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun and a 7.62 mm machine gun. The tank is outfitted with steel composite reactive mix armor and propelled by a 12-cylinder diesel engine, giving it a peak speed of 37 miles per hour and a range of 340 miles. Additional defenses include explosive reactive armor and an electronic countermeasure suite. It also has nuclear, biological, and chemical protection, minesweepers, and automated fire detection systems, making it one of the most advanced tanks in the world. Number three, Bora-class guided missile hovercraft. The Bora-class hovercraft, known to NATO as the Durgak, is a unique ship designed to operate solely at sea without traveling onto land. It is one of the largest military boats designed as a catamaran and was built in the 1980s. Currently, two Bora-class warships, Bora and Samum, are operational. They are powered by a mix of diesel generators, gas turbine engines, and diesel engines, allowing for a peak speed of 63 miles per hour and a range of up to 2,800 miles. The crew generally comprises of 35 men, which increases to 68 during battle. The hovercraft can stay at sea for up to 10 days and operate in seas as high as 13 feet. Armed with a wide array of weapons, including missiles, cannons, and machine guns, the Bora class is well equipped for defense and attack. Number two, Novorossiysk Stealth Submarine. Since submarines demonstrated their usefulness during World War II, Navies worldwide have developed more advanced subs capable of operating underwater with greater effectiveness. However, they still face the challenge of being detected by sonar. To address this issue, Russian developers have improved the Kilo-class submarines, including the Novorossiysk, which is among the quieter submarines in its class. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, it is designed to minimize detectability. With a crew of 52, a top speed of 23 miles per hour, and the ability to stay at sea for up to 45 days, the Novorossiysk can dive to 1,000 feet. It is armed with Kaliber cruise missiles and 533 mm torpedo tubes, with its stealth capabilities remaining closely guarded. Number 1. RS-24 Yars The RS-24 Yars, first tested in 2007, is the latest design of intercontinental ballistic missiles, solidifying Russia's position as a nuclear power. Unlike other Cold War-era weapons, the RS-24 is a modern and extremely devastating weapon. It can carry up to four independently targetable re-entry vehicles, each with a thermonuclear warhead capable of yielding up to 500 kilotons and is 75 feet long and roughly 7 feet wide. This gives the missile an overall theoretical yield of 2 megatons. Once launched, the RS-24 accelerates to speeds of up to 15,000 miles per hour and can attack targets within 7,500 miles with a 500-foot accuracy. It can be launched from silos as well as mobile launchers, 
allowing it to be deployed throughout Russia. Currently around 200 launchers are operational, with 20 more added each year. If you had a blast with this video, hit that like button like it's a big red launch button, subscribe, and ring that bell. Why? Because staying updated is way more fun than playing hide-and-seek with stealth submarines. Join the squad, and never miss out on our next adventure into the wild world of military tech. Thanks for watching.